day everyone my name is Nicola Marius and I am back with Joshua chapter one <laughs> let's continue from where we left off but it's just a little different right so the last time we were here we spoke about obedience to God will bring good success right so we are here to speak to you and I am here to speak to you and I, when I say we I mean the Lord is speaking through me right so let's go it says in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 <laughs> have not I commanded thee be strong and of good courage hmm. be not afraid neither be thou dismayed for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. What does that mean to you? Let's go, let's dissect this verse. Have not I commanded you? Okay, so I'm gonna put it personal. The Lord is saying, Nicola, have I commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Because you see, God is a personal God. He wants to speak to you directly. Other people may say, but um, I don't know and I don't understand. And what God wants to speak to you directly. So Harry is speaking to Joshua personally, and he's also speaking to us personally. So take it for yourself. In this time of hardship, in this time of uncertainty, with this pandemic, hmm. Have not I command thee, saith the Lord, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord your God, say that with me, the Lord my God, the Lord our God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, the owner of our lives, the temple, the body that we have is his temple. My God. You see, you see, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is, God is encouraging somebody today to be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. Why fret? Why worry? Why fear? The Lord your God is with you. He is with you to deliver you. He is with you. He is with you wherever you go. He is with you. Do you believe that, say? That the Lord is with me. Say it with me. The Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. My goodness. Oh, God. The Lord is with Nicola Marius. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. God is with me whether, wherever I go. Whithersoever you go. God is with you. Wherever you go, God is with you. Verse 10. Then Joshua command the officers of the people saying. So after Joshua was obedient to God, right? God encouraged Joshua. Look at it, huh? God encouraged Joshua. God also told Joshua in the earlier part in, in chapter 1 that if he wants good success, then he should not let his word depart out of his mouth, right? That was in verse 8. And now in verse 9, God is encouraging him and saying, haven't I commanded you? So he's now telling him, don't forget. No matter what happens, Joshua, haven't I commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. I will be with you. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people in verse 10 saying, verse 11 now says, pass through the host and command the people saying, prepare you victuals. For within three days, for within three days, you shall pass over this Jordan. What is the Jordan in your life that you seem to believe that it's impossible to pass over it. Is it a sin that easily besets you? Well, the word of God says, haven't I told you to be strong and of good courage? And 
God is now telling Joshua, hey, be strong of good courage. I am with you, and wherever you go, I will always be with you. So, in verse 11, Joshua is now giving instructions to people. So, God gave him instructions. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. God gave him instructions. Now, he's able to instruct an army. Now, he's able to instruct a people that God has given to him after the death of Moses. So, he says to the people, Head of instructions, pass through the host and command the people, saying, prepare you victual. So it's also telling them to prepare. What is it that God is asking you to do that you're procrastinating about? You know you have a passion for it. Nobody don't have to pay you to do it, right? Nobody don't have to pay you to do it, but you're procrastinating. What, what will people say if I bring that, that um, um, if I come and I bring that, business idea who supports me who who but god is saying haven't i encouraged you and haven't i told you before to be strong and courageous be strong and of good courage good courage in order for god in order for god to move and to do what he needs to do in your life your obedience needs to be in part you understand your obedience needs to be first and foremost and like I said before, Joshua was obedient to God, right? And now Joshua got instruction from the Lord and he's now able to tell men and women, hey, I am giving you instructions now. God gave me instructions. Now I am going to give you instructions. And it says that, continuing, Joshua said, that you will pass over this Jordan to go in and possess the land. Wow. Hear me and hear me well. In 2021, even if it looks like nothing is happening, God is working in the background. You hear me? Say that with me. God is working it out for my good. Say that. God is working it out for Nicola and Mario's good. God is working it out for my good. God is working it out for my good. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Mm. God is working it out for my good. Say it with me. Put your name there. God is working it out for your good. I am saying God is working it out for Nicola Marius's good. That is who I am. I am Nicola Marius. And I'm telling you, God is working it out for my good. <laughs> so you need to say to yourself, you need to put your name there and say, God is working it out for my good. And Joshua said, pass over this Jordan and go into, go into, go into, possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. So you know what I'm seeing there too? Joshua became bold as a lion. Joshua said, yeah boy, God with me? Huh, let's go. I go in and take everything that God have for me. Are you saying that today? Or are you just, well, okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. If, if it's his will. No. The word of God said the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violence taken by force. Since the day of, the, of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taketh it by force. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. So, what is it that God is calling you to do? Or what is it that God has asked you to do that you're holding yourself and you'll be like, well, you know, I don't know. I told you the last time, and the Holy Spirit is bringing back to my remembrance. I told you the last time that it is not okay to tell God you will not do it. It's okay to tell him, Daddy, I don't know how I will. But it's not okay to tell him you will not do it. Because if you do not live out your purpose on this earth, generations will perish. And I'm a woman of, when it comes to generations, I'm very passionate about this. And it's very important for you whoever you are, 
wherever you are around the world listening to me right now, it is important for you to come to a place and say the Lord has encouraged me to be strong and of good courage. So as a result, I am going to go forward. I'm not going back. I'm going forward and I'm going to possess the land that the Lord has given to me. Joshua knew who he was. He also knew that God had called him and he knew that God was with him. God would never fail him because in you could see in chapter um, earlier in chapter one, one of the verses that says that God would God said that he will not fail him and he will not forsake him. And, you know, even in the New Testament, it says that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. So if God is with you and if God is for you, then who can be against you? But thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says to Joshua, and no man will be able to stand before you. My God. No man. And listen, I'm telling you this, and this is encouraging me, and I hope it's encouraging you. And in verse 12, it says, and to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to half of the tribe of Manasseh, spake Joshua, saying, remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you. So now Joshua is reminding them of what his um, master commanded them. Because remember, I told you in the, in the beginning of chapter 1, God says, minister of Moses. He called Joshua a minister of Moses. He used to minister to Moses. So Joshua respected Moses to the point where he ministered to Moses. He was at Moses' beck and call. When Moses called, Joshua was there. Joshua always wanted to know what is it that God is saying, Moses? What is it? And he always wanted to just be around the man of God. You need to honor the men of God and the women of God in your life. Honor them. Pray for them. Encourage them. Honor them. Pray for them. Encourage them. Because you never know what they're going through at that particular moment. And Joshua is reminding the children of Israel and telling them, remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, that's in verse 12, saying, the Lord your God have given you rest and have given you this land. So Joshua is telling them, hey, it's not a time to doubt. It's not a time to say if it's God's will or whatever. I'm telling you all, we need to go and possess that land. We need to go in and possess the land. Go in and possess the land. Go in and take what God has said that it is yours. Take it. Do not sit back and relax and be like, okay, well, it will just fall in my lap. That is not true. You need to pray. You need to pray, whether it is generational curses over your life, where you've seen patterns in your life or patterns in your past, in your um, past, or you see seeing patterns where your family members are going through certain things that you don't want to go through. The only way to break those things is through prayer. It's through prayer. It's through declarations. It's through creating a new path in your mind. That's neuro, um, neuroplasticity. Create a new path in your mind that we would speak words of affirmation, the words of God. Declare it in your lives daily. Speak the word of God out to yourself daily and see God change your situation for the best. See God change your situation out for the best. Because what the, the devil meant for evil, God is about to turn it for your good. Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless your name because you are worthy. After obedience comes encouragement and after encouragement comes instruction. And here you are telling you, your servant Joshua in those times and you're speaking to us personally, Lord. And you're telling your children in this time, haven't I commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Haven't I commanded you that even in this pandemic, in this time, that I am with you? I am with you to deliver you and to set you free. So, Father, we thank you for your word. 
We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your fire. We thank you for your power. And we thank you, oh God, for ministering to your people and let them know that you will never fail them. You will never leave them nor forsake them. And that they should go and possess the land that you have said that you will give to them. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. I pray you cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, oh God, that you cover their families, their homes, and those, of the, those, oh God, who desire to see a change in their families. You will teach them how to pray, to decree and declare your word. So generational curses shall be broken. Generational assignments shall be destroyed. And Father, their lives will never be the same again. Change them and transform them by your spirit. Because it's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by your spirit, say of the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. God bless you. I love you. And have a blessed and a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. And remember, be strong and of good courage. Bye.